I have an interesting story that happened. Oh, uh, do you have a story? I've got a story. Do you have an interesting story? We've told our fair share of drunk stories on the podcast, but I think this one even tops myself, um, <laughs> which is fun to believe. So, about a week ago, you know, we, as we do, Nikki and I and some other people, uh, a few other artists, decided to go out drinking, not the bad part. Uh, we you usually few, say, as we do, after you say that. As we do, as we do drink. <laughs> not the bad part, but um, just have a few drinks, decided to have a few more drinks, and this is where things got bad. Uh, I'll, cu- I'll cut the drinking part out because then we just drank. <laughs> Nikki was like, I'm going to go back home. Uh, I feel tired. I was like, all right, give her my keys to my apartment, which is this one here. She walks back, she leaves. I stay behind for a little bit longer with John. We drink a little bit more. Uh, we decide to leave. We go. We walk back to my his, his place. Nikki is lost. In it. She, so she walked back the other two people there, back to John's place, left, tried to find the bar that she left to come back to the bar, got lost one block from here. <laughs> John's having he's like, okay, don't leave here, I'll be right back. I don't, this is the only part I blacked out of, but I don't remember him saying that. I, I came to, and I decided to walk back to my place. The fact that I got back at all is a miracle. I walked that back instinct. from, yeah, from yeah. John's place to my place, I walked back. Those two go back to his place. They assume I'm gonna come back there or that I'm gonna, I was walking somewhere. I walk back here, I think Nikki's here, because I don't realize she was lost. She has my keys. I walk back to my lobby, uh, like four, wait, probably six a.m. I buzzing my own fucking building, my own door <laughs> for probably. To me, I thought it was thirty minutes, and then I realized the time was probably a little bit longer. Yeah, than no, that. it was probably. No, five I'm minutes, drunk. Yeah. I'm very, very drunk. Uh, to, the, to the point where I did black out for like ten minutes, but I'm not wasted anymore. I'm kind of coming to a little bit. Buzzing, buzzing my door. I puked from a lack of water in the fucking lobby everywhere. Hurled. This is the hour people are starting to go to work. Yeah. I don't I don't remember seeing anybody, but I'm pretty sure somebody saw me because the police came. Yeah. I don't think I was I was I'd always be disturbing, I was being loud, but I think someone saw me puke and they're like, oh this guy puked. This bald cop and his partner bring me out, they're like, sir, have you had had some drinks tonight? And I was like, Yeah, you know, I have. You know, my girlfriend's up there, she's sleeping. And uh, she told me I think she's sleeping. That's what I thought. She has my keys, and they're like, Yeah, where are your keys? I was like, she has them. And they said, Where's your phone? And I was like, Oh, it's it's right. Didn't have my phone. I was like, uh, this sounds like a lie, but really, right. my, my phone's not with me. She has my phone and my keys. She has them. I, I live right here. <laughs> yeah. Here's my address. Here's my license. Here it is. I live here. Please just let me in the building. I'll go to my room and go to sleep. I just want to sleep. I said that. And they said, sir, I don't believe you live here. Because I haven't got my license updated yet, so it still says Kansas on it. Right. So they thought I was just some fucking crazy drunk who puked in, <laughs> who wandered in and puked in some lobby. Right. And I was like, I, I was like, fine. My friend's address is right there. Let me go there. And they're like, sir, I don't, I don't think you should. They're like, your story isn't adding up, by the way. Your girlfriend lives here, she's not letting you in. She sounds like she's pissed off at you. Did you hurt her? Did you guys have a fight? I was like, no, hold on. I was like, hold on, hold on. They were like, insinuating. <laughs> did you rape her? Did you murder her? They were insinuating I killed Maybe me. she's not answering because she's dead. They were, they were insinuating. Did, did you like hit her? Did you smack her? Did she That would be like the best Twitter drama ever. They were like insinuating like, 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 like rapes and murders. They fucking were saying I beat her, like killed her. They were, I was like, I was like kind of like drunk, but I was like, hold on, hold on. And they're like, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna call an ambulance. I was like, I was like, listen, I've been through this before. I do not have insurance. If you get an ambulance here, I will not go in it. Not to be resisting, I respect police greatly. You and I said, said all of these I things? swear to God, I'm not just okay. saying, I, you know me. You I'm not just saying this, I am not just saying this from my perspective okay. to make myself look better. I will tell you everything that I did. Gosh, I will paint myself. I will, I, I will lick the Holy Bible. <laughs> do, you touch, do you swear to crack, crack, go touch wood? I swear to Jesus on crackers and toast. <laughs> okay. And so, so I, I literally said, because I do believe genuinely that police, overall, good police get a bad rap. Yep. And I said, like, look, you know, you guys have a hard job. I get it. You guys are just doing your job here, right? I'm some drunk guy in a lobby without my keys and without my phone. I get it. Oh, and that, they, here's the fucked up part. I said, can you call my phone for me? Please, I gave my phone number. They're like, we're not going to do that, sir. We're not going to. I was like, if you call my phone, you could probably, or if you take me to my friend's house, so we can knock on the door or something. No, didn't do it. Yeah. So I said, like, I do not have insurance. If you take me to the hospital, I will not pay the insurance. I will not pay the bill because I cannot pay the bill. Please do not do that. I just want to go to bed. And I, like I said, I said, like, look, I get you guys just doing your job. I respect you guys. I respect the police. Represent <laughs> NYPD. I bet you said all of that, too. <laughs> I, was being, I was going out of my way to be very courteous. And they said, sir, do not be. They started getting more stern. They said, sir, do not be difficult. Get in the, get in the goddamn ambulance. And I was like, you don't understand. I do not have insurance. They said, I don't care. Get the ambulance. Now, I talked about this on Twitter a little bit. I got, this is where things get complicated. Get the ambulance, right outside here. And the guy, the guy in the ambulance, I don't know if he was NYPD or if he was a medical worker. Yeah. And I'll tell you why I don't know, because because of his behavior, if he was a fucking, like, EMT, I will be baffled. And I'll tell you why. So I have to believe he's like NYPD who just works in the back of the ambulance. But he wasn't uniform. So I get, I get the ambulance, and I was telling this guy, I was saying, listen, dude, um, yeah, I told this guy, I don't have insurance, if you can please let me go. Yeah. He said, sit down and shut the fuck up, sit right there. And I sat down, and he said, move over, move over, move over, get to the back. 
<laughs> and I was like, all right. I was like, don't be an asshole, dude. I said that. I was getting mad now. Yeah. And he, he was like, don't be fucking difficult with me. Don't get a fucking attitude with me. And I said, you're the one who has a fucking attitude. I just want to get out of this ambulance. And he stood up and he said, I wrote on Twitter, he said, um, don't be fucking difficult with me. And I said, I'll be difficult if you don't listen to me and let me tell you what I'm trying to say. And he said, if you don't shut the fuck up, I'm going to bash your fucking skull in. And I said, do it. I, now, you know me, I'm not a tough guy. But I was thinking, this guy, okay, what are the chances? This guy caves my fucking face in, I go to the <laughs> hospital. I don't know what happened. I, I have enough of a following online to cause a stir and get this guy fired sure, at least. Sure. I said, do it. What's your name, by the way? He said, oh, yeah, whatever. You're a fucking tough guy. And as we were driving, I was like, no, what's your name? What's your fucking name? He was like, yeah, whatever, whatever, whatever. So that was a highlight but of see, as, soon, as soon as he as soon as he caved and wouldn't like yeah I was I, I was on the offensive I was on the like, offensive you were like oh wow now you're fucked dude he, he, he was, I don't have to tell you my name I was like oh you don't okay bash my fucking face and see what happens see, what's he your used name? all of his coming and out and I, said, I totally he blocked. was out and and you, he had no more cards and to I play blocked, and I was, at that I was, point I, you called I, his bluff I blocked right? I was like you know my you know my job is he's like what's your fucking job wise guy was like oh police sketch I said oh your fucking stupid face I'm gonna draw your ass when I get out of here I'm gonna get you fired which is I can draw but I still know what he looks like but it's kind of a Fly. Right. So I go to, they take me to the hospital, they walk out, they walk me to the hospital, they put me in a fucking bed, uh, they leave, I told everybody along the way that I did not have insurance and I did not want to be there. Uh, which I'm pretty sure is illegal. Because I was drunk, but I was not wasted. I was like, I would be now if I had a few drinks. Did they ever me. breathalyze you? No. The, oh, right. They, so right there already, they had no legal proof no. of anything. All no. they had no. was what they saw with their eyes. Right. And so that's, wait, hold on the fact that they would even this yeah, is already I'm so pretty bizarre. sure I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it is not legal if somebody refuses medical service yeah. and they're lucid enough to recognize yeah. if I was like uh, fine I'll tell you for sure I, I know for a fact <laughs> cops are not allowed to medically diagnose a person no no no, no. They didn't especially if they don't breathalyze you to at least have a medical record of how drunk you are to then justify right. you having to do something well, I told my phone number they refused to call my phone yeah. um, I told them my address I told them John's address I told them everything yeah. I, told them, I Laid out the whole night for him. They asked for her name. I gave him her name, her and everything. Why did you get their badge numbers and shit? I was too drunk to get it. Uh, uh, so here's the thing. I was drunk, but I was not wasted. But in my mind, I was just, I was thinking, okay, I need to get myself out of this. I wasn't yeah. thinking. I, I only really started to be on the offensive when I got in the ambulance and they like, slammed the door. And the guy was, said he was going to smash my fucking skull. Yeah. That's when I really started to be like, okay, this is fucked up here. So they took me to the hospital and they put me in this back room. They forced me. I was like, I just want to leave. They forced me to drink ginger ale and like yogurt. Ew. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but like you know when the like when you got to the hospital and the ambulance door opened, well, could you not have just made me run for it? Or? They would have probably tagged out. I would have probably been arrested. Did the cops there. follow, or was it just the guy in the they, back? They they led me in by my arm, and I was like, I don't want. I don't want to be the asshole who's like, I have my rights. Yeah. You know, I don't want to be so one they, of those guys. They were literally on you to the door of the they, hospital. They they weren't like guiding, but they weren't like pushing me, but they guided me. They guided right. me to the ambulance. No, but they guided you to the ambulance. The ambulance drove you to the hospital. Then right. The door of the ambulance opened, what, could you not have ran? It was like super far away from where I was. I know, but you could have like ran between buildings and lost them or something. I did not want to avoid the police. They would have tackled me. But they weren't there. My point, well, that, somebody would have tackled me. I'm pretty sure the, the it, I did what I did. The guy who wanted to bash his face I knew, I knew, I was like, okay, to fucking chase here's my down. point. If, if I run away, then they have a reason to, be, to fucking hurt me and be rough. Then they can smash my face to the concrete and be assholes. So, mm. and I told the nurse, I said, nurse, I will not pay the bill. I told the people that I would not pay the bill, I'm not going to pay the bill. I will tear it up, I'm not going to pay the bill when I get it. Because I cannot afford it. I said I couldn't afford it. I don't want to be here. She's like, just drink your ginger ale, sir. And um, she said, I tried to sleep because it, it was like 7 a.m. at this point, or, 11, or 8 a.m. And I just wanted to fucking leave and get some sleep. And they were like, if you fall asleep, sir, we're going to be here the whole day. I was like, all right, whatever. Drank my ginger ale. They let me get dressed. Before I got dressed, I wiped my fucking ass on the bed sheets because I was so mad. <laughs> it was that beautiful yellow shit, too. It wasn't brown. It was yellow. I got, I got <laughs> dressed. I got dressed. I... <laughs> with the most fucking sour expression on my face ever. I took a cab from the fucking Upper East Side, holding my belt, fucking stumbling around, all the way to John's place. I buzzed the door, I walked in and screamed for probably, what, 15 minutes? Screamed straight. They're like, where were you? And I pulled my sleeve down, and I showed the fucking fall. They put a fall risk on badge. Like, they are, it said fall risk. Fall, like a fucking fall, fall risk. Like, 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 like a toddler. Fall over and fucking break his face. They said, where were you? I pulled it down and started screaming about what happened. And I fucking, I still have the little, the little suction cup marks on my, all my fucking chest for the little nodes they put on. And uh, so that was my fucking night. It feels like it feels like at some point they have to have like a code at like that time of night for drunk people that they think are going to be trouble. Yeah. The cops call it in. The cops call it into the EMT like, 
hey, we got a 347, which is like asshole. Yeah. And everyone from the every, you know, from the fucking door of the building to the bed in the hospital, everyone's just gonna treat you like you're a crazy asshole. But here's the oh oh the other thing too about the guy in the back of the I almost forgot the guy the guy in the back of the ambulance. I when I was like, what's your fucking name? He's like, keep this up, it'll put you in the psych ward. I was like, dude, I fucking deal. You're such a pussy. Fucking, I'm not a tough guy. I'm not. I'm seriously not trying to set, tell this in like retrospect like it was tough. But I know if he did anything, he's a professional. He can get fired. I'm so employed. Who the fuck is gonna fire me? I can say whatever I want, you know. And that sounds weird, but I mean in this context. So I was like, "Fucking do it! Throw me in the sick for two weeks!" I dare you. On what? On what ground? That they took a bash my face in? Go ahead. So he was a huge asshole. He looked like the fucking the gay dad from American Beauty. <laughs> the fucking the big military guy who like beats on his son. He had that kind of like haircut and face. He was a big sour asshole. <laughs> Like, did you end up getting a bill? I, whenever they gave me, I ripped it up. I haven't gotten the bill yet. I'm good. I told like if they really would pay, pay yeah, the bill. Yeah, it might take like a month. Or I'll something. take it up to. I'll take it up. But the wait, but did they ever get your address? I don't think so. Right, because they technically they didn't even believe that. If you... they bill me for whatever it is, I will take it up. They the can't. They, is, can't bill you. they didn't even they... believe you lived here. Yeah. Why would they even get your address? Kansas or something? Yeah, I'm not gonna pay. Oh, they yeah, have yeah, no evidence of you being drunk at all. I mean, I puked, but that was not because I was so drunk. It was because I was locked in the lobby for fucking three hours with no water. I didn't know what to do. You didn't know what to do but puke. Well, I puked because I was there for like two hours. I got tired at some point. I was like, dude, I want to go. I want to go well, outside. Puke you you couldn't tired. just walk outside and puke on the road. I was just sick. I was just sick. <laughs> so, so, so here's what I'll say, right? Yeah. I was not completely innocent. I was not some pedestrian walking tree gum. Right. I puked in a lobby of a building. Yeah. I was in the lobby for hours. I wasn't being loud. I get why the police came. That part's fine. The part that gets shitty is when they did not call my phone, which by the way they had it. John and the gear else had my phone. Yeah. They took it. They, I, they took it out of my pocket. See, see, this is the thing is that it could have been resolved at any few points. It's almost like they wanted to waste their time. They wanted to they build wanted me. something to do. They, like I think so. They were bored and they were like, you know, we got eight hours to kill today. But I just feel like I should clarify that like I'm not this like fuck the pigs guy. I'm not either. No. I'm not like I respect the state, I respect the police doing their job, yeah. I was drunk. But the way the EMT or the whatever the guy the ambulance was, I'm not sure. That's why I don't believe he was an EMT. There's no way that guy was a fucking like health professional if he threatened to bash my face. So in. there was no one else. Usually they have more than one person in the back. It was just one guy. Yeah. So <clears throat> also with most uh, like uh, ambulance trips like that, as soon as you get in the back, the very first thing they're doing is taking your temperature and they're doing that. And they I never check had your blood IV. pressure. And especially if you've been puking or if you look sick, they will have water as well. They just wanted to give me to the hospital to yeah. get my ticket bill me. They so I was really drunk at the beginning of the night, but it sounds like a fucking scam. Yeah, it, it like I was thing. really. Some fake I cops was, got you into a fake ambulance to take you to some fake hospital where they fuck. You should check. You should check if you got all your parts, buddy. They were yeah, probably hoping you were gonna pass out so they could take some. I made sure everything. Yeah, shit. I made sure everything. Right. I even asked. I they put my wallet, in my jacket yeah. pocket. I was like, where the fuck's my wallet? They like, like, took your kidney or something. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, I mean. I don't, I don't, <laughs> <laughs> but it was just fucked up and like I don't know. I was just I was laying in bed so fucking mad, yeah. watching TV, so watching some shitty soap opera on on mute. And they brought me, they got, they brought me fucking Raisin Bran. And I was like, I don't want fucking a Raisin Bran. I want to go home and eat the Raisin Bran. You're lucky you have this. 